Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 51, we're going to be doing the Tuning Car Championship. I think it's a championship, I don't remember. But it's in the professional events, a place that we haven't been to in quite a while. I'm trying to touch a little bit of this and that before we get the IP license soon. Just to remind you guys, yesterday we did the special condition events, the easy ones. They were anything but easy, but we got many prize cars, and one of them was this beautiful Toyota RSC Rally Raid car. So I put it on display just for you guys. We're definitely going to use it at some point in like the more difficult special condition events. By more difficult, they just mean faster cars. So you get with the right car, and then you wind up being competent. And I couldn't pick the right car most of the time, but let's go to Tuner Village. I'm going to go to HKS. I already showed you this car last episode. I need this car. It costs 200,000 credits, which means we're going to drop it all the way down to 402,455 exactly. But look at this library. Look at these rims, the colors. Oh, man. It, it, this is my tuner car. It's my favorite tuner car in the entire Gran Turismo series. Oh, my God. Okay, so the official name is the Tuning Car Grand Prix, and it is a five race championship, and you can tell it's for tuning cars, and this is the best tuning car. 10,000 credits per victory, so that's 50,000 in total, and then for winning the championship you get 20,000, so that's 70,000. We're only going to have lost 130,000 credits in this episode, and then tomorrow we're doing something really special that's going to pay a bunch of money, so we ain't got to worry about all this. But, uh... I'm, I'm tempted to get out of this car later in the championship, like maybe after even Tokyo, just so I can run some races with some other tuning cars. Because I, I have one right now, you know, that Mazda RX-7 I put some NOS in. I hope it would be good enough. And then maybe at one of the other tracks, I could use the car that they give me for winning the championship, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a tuning car. But let's get this thing go. So this car's full name is HKS Jinkai Hyper Sylvia. All I see in that is HKS and Hyper, and that's good. Let's scour the competition real quick. I think I used that word correctly. I don't freaking know. We got a Nismo Skyline GTR R Tune from '99. Uh, I'm not familiar with the red one. I'm familiar with like the the white one. But an Opera Performance S2000. I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, rough CTR2, I know that car is amazing. Spoon S2000. Uh, I, I don't think that one is all that good. I think the Oprah Performance S2000 is way better. It's four years newer, but it's all come down to what they do to it. And then my car is here. The BP Falcon RX-7 from 2003, except it's from like freaking early 90s. And then they released it in 2003. But that's the car that I want to bring in here at some point and use uh, a 10 point race so that means it should be pretty damn easy that's just the car that I brought let's go about half throttle come on yep. so shift up about 40 miles an hour and into third gear about 65 or whatever just kind of eyeing this to see what it should be from now on pretty good going into this first curve trying to predict what speed you want me to go through it at Let's head in from the outside. It's kind of difficult to do that. There's no room for my car to... to there, there. Stupid bullshit. I, I should be like fourth now, but there's no room for my car. They got a bunch of cars in the way. So this kind of sucks. It's a three-lap race. How can you have such a special big event, but then only three laps? Come on. There we go. Getting off the gear smoothly. They're all still right in front of us. Got a straight to show what horsepower we got. And yeah, so if I bring my uh, tuner car RX-7, then I'm gonna have to use the NOS to be competent. Because obviously I'm out running in straight without NOS with this car. Can the car stop going up the track and go down the track? You stupid fucking bastard! You piece of shit! Mm. I, I'm trying so hard to move forward and get the job done. We got assholes like this. It, it pisses me off. Immediately, this car has no front grip because I can't level on the track. I can't get my shit in line. I can't do what I want to do. They got cars bouncing into me left and right. Oh, disrespectful twats. Disrespectful twats. This game is nothing but disrespectful twats. Get the fuck out of the way. I hate this shit. 
I don't have a six gear. I'm starting to realize that. Already 3.8 seconds behind. I shouldn't be 3.8 seconds behind, but I am. This, this game knows how to get under my skin immediately, and I hate it. Okay, so now I can go through this turn without having to worry about cars. Yeah, we got the over revs. So now, now I'm right there. I gotta pass this guy. Me trying to pass this guy is making me drive like an idiot. Why can't they... Mm, I think I might need better tires in this car because it has no fucking grip whatsoever. Mostly front end grip. The rear grip I can handle. Could you please get out of the way? It's so difficult to pass someone to get that run off the corner whenever it wants to over rev and it wants to spin the tires. I don't think I'm winning this race. I think there's going to be a lot of going back and doing things over again just because of how hard they've made the, the traffic here. I So tight, so tight, no grip. No grip right there. Just normal tires on a tuner car. Is this for drag racing or something? Because it maxed out at fifth gear. Yeah, I'm trying to catch back up with these guys. The, the, the CTR2 or whatever just freaking drove clear off the track and he backed into the skyline. Okay, that gave us a fighting chance. Come on, come, stop, stop, go! You know what to do, car, oh my god. I got the, the, the best tuner car and I suck, darn it. Well, we get an extra 6,000 credits. Okay, next up is Fuji Speedway 90s. Why does the Opera Performance S2000 get to start first this time? Last time he started, I think second? It's not much of a difference, but, but still. Um, let's go qualify. And we are starting first. I'm 1.7 seconds faster in this one. I was like a whole second off the pace last race. Okay. Working on this start, of course, they get no wheel spin whatsoever. Although, I mean, these are probably like the regular cars that don't get the wheel spin. Make them exactly the way they need to be made to come from a start like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm such and such speed faster than these guys in qualifying. And then they kick my butt as soon as the race starts and outrun me just like that. Hmm, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Okay, I'm backing over here. Um, I'm trying to catch back up to this guy. But I can't focus because I'm doing the talking thingy. And, and okay, and no front grip, of course. We got three laps, just like usual. Three laps to work on it. And, and we're like two seconds faster or whatever. So we got this. No, stop that. Like, a actually go and drive. Now stop the wheel spin. I still don't know why this game does this. What is the point of having them suck in qualifying? Let you start in front of them and then, you know, lead you to believe that you're actually competent in the race, and then them do stuff like this. I hate that. That's so bullcrap. Stupid freaking curves. Stupid car is turning good, so I keep turning into the curves. Come on. We've gained on them. We can do this. Mm. Damn, I really need some new tires. I need good tires. Because we have more straightaway speed, and then we also have the draft. But this is the fastest I can go. I'm, I'm trying to stay at like a 152. Okay, now this is annoying. This is very, very annoying. I gotta make all this time up. Try to gain it back going into the corner. I think we might be a bit closer right now than we were last lap around this time. So, we, we got this. I just gotta work on them. Mm. He's still hitting them brakes. I, you just, you can't gas it up with this car. This is not a gasser. That's not what that means. But you can't gas it up with this car. He doesn't like that. I put it back in third gear. I put it way, way too late. I thought I needed to at some point. And I'll stay in third. See, I'm just, I want to get on the gas and go. It's like, yeah, this horsepower, you can't use it. I don't know what the hell to do about that. There we go. This car is too heavy for its horsepower. That's all it is. This guy might pass his back in the front straight. There we go. I said there we go, car. Let's go. Up to fourth gear. He's 0.7 seconds back. Let's keep it to the inside right here this time. 
I don't know why I had such a hard time doing that last time. But yeah, he, he's over there, and that's about the gap that he got on us down the straightaway last time, so let's stay about 152. Just eyeing that gauge at the bottom. Oh my god. I appreciate that, but you made me over rev at the top of my highest gear, so I don't know how to feel about that. But that, that should be it for us. We should be able to win for the remainder of this. Okay. He's pretty damn far away, but considering the, the fastest I can go to straight, I, I'm still a little concerned always. But we won this one, finally, by two seconds, and the open performance is SU-1000. He, he's going to wind up finishing fifth. Yeah, yeah, there's TR2 crashing into me. There's my 10,000. I'm surprised it didn't take more time to go through all the digits. I always I just tap the X button twice to speed it up before it even starts. But anyway. This game is making choices difficult because if I qualify, I have to start last and then get with the clogged track, I can't get through everybody and I wind up losing somehow. But if I do qualify, I start first and then it's almost an easy win. Except for the damn rough CTR2 that always beats us on the, the dead stop starts. But I, I guess we'll try this. Going to the forward version of the track. The one that I'm more familiar with. And I've been pretty good on these starts like this so far. Come on. I, I, I guess that was alright. It doesn't look like it at all. I don't think they like drive into each other that much here either, so that makes that difficult. By the way, this is only two laps. Yet another reason why I, I probably should have qualified for this. I really would like to have some other fucking tires in this, but you can't change what tires you have on the car once you start the championship. So I'm just over here losing right now, and I don't know what to do about it. I'm being careful. I'm, I'm driving fast. I'm doing what I gotta do. The field is already so spread out, even though it's it's we started from a stop because the they the horsepower and they don't get the wheel spin. Only I get wheel spin. I don't understand that whatsoever. How come I only get wheel spin? I hate this shit. It makes no sense to me. You could at least have you know smoke from their tires and have them over revving their engines or, or just slowly starting or something. But I don't know how they program these AI. It's annoying and I hate it. Come on. I got these three guys right in front of us. The leader in the O Performance S2000, you put him up front, it kicks everyone's ass. You put him in the back, he just sits, stays at the back. Because this is a clean air advantage, or what the heck? I didn't get clean air advantage. CTR2 didn't get clean air advantage. But the O Performance S2000, I don't freaking know. Do they not pass each other or something? We're coming to the end of the first lap of the race. It's only a two lap race. And okay, sure, I guess we'll just do that. Fine, I'll just qualify for this next race and start first place. Because apparently I, this car cannot handle the traffic and the car is beating and bumping me around. And also, I have no grip, but I'm not allowed to do anything to this car until the championship's over. I don't want to spend any more money. I already spent 200,000 credits. So this is El Capitan Reverse, by the way. I qualify first place by 5.5 seconds. And that is the best start that I could possibly come up with. The Oprah Performance S2000 is already right in front of us. And I got a big old gap on the CTR2 to make up as well. Head into this corner. Uh, I should be in third gear. I would be going somewhere, but I have traffic. This is exactly why I qualify, so I don't have traffic, but I get wheel spin and they don't. I get wheel spin and they don't. Don't wreck. This car wants me to die. Oh my gosh. It, it's constantly sliding, understeer, oversteer. I... I recall this car handling a lot better on the PSP. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, this guy's just bopping the wall. You know, even if I'm winning this race, this car is driving me freaking nuts with how it drives in this game. The freaking tire problem, the constant wheel spin. I wish there was something I could do about it. I could actually use the horsepower in the car instead of just burning out. I mean, that's cool and all, but it ain't good for the race. Why isn't there drag racing in this game, by the way? There could be drag racing, but there is not. No, get, get over here. Watch this 
lose a, a bunch of time in this section of the track specifically just because of the way the car has to drive through it. I mean, I have to put it in third gear. The car damn near spins out coming down this hill. I can't focus on the sounds the car are making because I'm too busy driving. Why are we so tight right here right now? We got three laps, not two laps, we got three laps. Which they give us three laps in all the races, not just decide to make one of these races really short when they're hard enough as it is. That's right, I can't shift up, but I'm first place. That's a lap around El Capitan in, in reverse. Let's get the hell out of here and do the next race. Ugh. You know, this car is also definitely great for drifting. I, I don't think I was ready for how much fun this car wanted to have in this episode. I thought we were just going to McDonald's and getting a Happy Meal. I didn't think we were actually going to go into the, the, the giant playhouse, okay? How are we doing in points? Am I the points leader now? Tell me, tell me. Okay, we're, we're tied at 26. I have to finish in front of the next race. Yes, another 10,000. So far I've gotten 6,000 extra credits. I'm gonna use my brain and qualify for this race too. This game wants me to focus. It wants me to be on my A game. Well, I'm on my A game. Also, this is the only race in this entire championship where we don't come from a dead stop. So, me starting first was imperative, but it prevents me from having the wheel spin to make the race challenge. Just like always, a 10 point race. Once again, we are tied for the points lead with Oprah Performance S2000. He's starting fifth in this one. I'll show you guys a lap. Let me make my way around this track. At least like this, that is. Of course, I missed the first corner because I'm talking and I, I'm driving like an idiot because I'm talking See, I would drive better if I would shut up but I think it would get kind of boring if I would just never talk um, I, see I just I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm trying to think of things to, to say that contribute to what you're watching right now and, and I'm saying things I, I'm explaining the fact that I'm trying to say things somehow I'm increasing my lead while driving like a buffoon Oh my god, just freaking end this nightmare. Ugh. I, there's nothing that I really want to do to this car in the next attempts of running these other races. Um, I would like to use this other car that they plan to give me. Glad I don't have to do the championship twice. Whatever car it is, I hope it's a little bit better than this one. So I can just kind of start last, win, maybe deal with some wheel spin and a, a difficult handling car, but in the end still get the job done just like that. This has, um been something else. I don't know what would stop me from only talking whenever I'm going in the streets and then just not talking whenever I'm trying to take a turn, but I do that and that, that's definitely the biggest problem here. Also, the BP Falcon RX-7, he ran second this race. Good shit. I don't know how, but he did. And we won this championship by eight points over the Open Performance S2000. And another 10,000. Yet again, it it clicks just like that immediately. I, I don't know why, but there's also the championship winning prize. 20,000. Twice as much as we get in all the races. There we go. So, they're going to give us the prize car, and hopefully it's something that I could use in these other two races that I didn't win. Okay, here we go. What is it? Be something awesome. Oh, it's the Option Stream Z. That is, that is awesome. That is another car with a freaking awesome livery. It's loud as shit, and it is powerful as shit. Okay, so it was Apricot Hill Raceway, where we finished second to the Opera Performance S2000, and then I didn't even finish the Tokyo race, so let's go do those. All right, I only recognize one car from when we originally did the championship, and that's the Opera Performance S2000. Which was pretty damn good, so we'll see how it compares to this car. But we got a Nismo Fair Lady Z 
a Mines Lancer Evo, and a Muse S2000. We got two S2000s. I think, again, we had two S2000s last time, right? Um, a Trial Celica, starting up front. So, you know, tuner cars, we probably got a half throttle it, whatever, to start. Right about there. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it went the, I, I put it like half throttle, but it just kind of stalled out on me. I think I shipped up the third year way too quickly, but it was over revving, so I didn't know what to do about that. It's weird, it's over revving, but it was not uh, spinning the tires. I could hear that. That's, that's just weird. So I'm, I'm over here already in, in fourth gear, whatever. I should be in like third. Come on. I keep on shifting up too early because the car is making weird sounds. Like it's doing the wheel spin whenever we're not really going that fast. Here we go again, another car that ain't got downforce. Oh my God, could y'all go any slower? I feel like I got a freaking race car right now, but it's a terrible race car. It's the most garbage race car ever. And that's to tuner cars for you. We'll sneak away around this Oprah Performance S2000. Get into second on the Celica, who's crowding me off the track, but I mean, they always do that, so what's new? Ah, 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 no, How come this guy gets the upper hand? He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants with my body. He can throw it clear off the goddamn racetrack. He can push me around and everything. I got the bigger car, and everything he does, I'm affected by. It can't be him. I'm so tired of this shit. I can't run them off the fucking racetrack. They do that shit to me. Mmm. Front down force. Where are you? Where are you, front down force? Please show the fuck up. Please stop rubbing your ass on my face. God damn it, leave me the fuck alone. The car is hydraulically impaired. The, a severe lack of front down force. That is the best way to describe this thing. I keep wanting to say something like aerodynamics or, or, and it does have weird gearing, but I can't use the right words. Like, look at this shit. This guy's got a much slower car than me. I've got this damn super tuning car, but my car is, just doesn't want to turn. I gotta go so damn slow to turn with this thing. I don't know what it's meant for. Because if you don't have downforce, then I can't imagine actually using it as a drift car. It's just for drag racing. No, no drifting and dragging. Just, just dragging. Um, it might break your heart, but I'm probably gonna sell this car afterwards. Because I fucking hate how it drives. We have a Jolly Rancher Green S2000. I mean, that was the same one from last race. And everything else here, well, that was in the championship that we just ran a while ago. Okay. It's a four-point race. The game insists that it is so easy. So very, very easy. Absolutely, totally easy race. Okay, we're just going to floor it because uh, half-throttling, it just stalls the car out. I just want to do anything with that half-throttle shit. I mean, the car will go backwards if I try half-throttling it. And I don't understand how to explain that. So... Put it in fifth gear and then get on the brakes. I'm going really early because this car does not like steering. It is completely against that. I have never seen a car in this entire game that is more against just simple functioning stuff like that. Okay, I'll shift up. So far, we're not doing too hot. They say it's a four point race, but the car can't turn. I had I mean, I say a lot of cars that can't turn, but usually it's just they suck at turning. This one doesn't suck at turning. It just can't. Oh my lord. That's not a tire problem. That's a that's a serious hydraulic downforce problem. This car is meant for nothing. Just going straight and maybe a little fast. There are faster cars in this, and you know it. But like, what the fuck? Okay. I put it in third gear because you said to put it in third gear. What the heck? Slow it down, slow it down. Gosh, like, they say it's a four-point race, which means I should be able to close right in on them, pass them, just like that. But I have to drive so damn slow through every little curve. This car was so much more fun to drive on the PSP. The same thing with the other one. It's like, you get onto this game, and it's just terrible. And the PSP game did come out after this one. You figure because it's PSP, it would have less realistic driving physics. But I swear to God, all the cars in there drive a lot more smoothly than Many of them do in this game. All right, now this is where I get to show that horsepower, that straightaway speed, the one good old straightaway. Holy shit, it's making up for my d the dumb garbage. At least we got a sixth gear with this car. 
That's something we didn't have with the, the Nissan Silvia. All right, I'm on the brakes. I'm on the brakes. I'm going to use you because my brakes don't do anything. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. A little runoff speed. Slip past him. Put in second gear. He's going to run me over, but that's fine. That, that's fine. I'm, I'm used to this bullshit. I am getting rid of this car for this because I don't want to compete with this car in any racing event with race cars because it's a tuner car that doesn't turn. It's not a race car. And we did the tuning thing. This should not be close. This should not be anything. This should be over. But, of course, I managed to lose the lead in like the last section of the damn track because he would slowly gain on me due to actually having a car that can do car things. Okay. Trash. It's going in the trash. And I know they're giving me money for this. I even just tapped the X button one time and it did one tick, 10 to zero. You know, 10,000 to zero. Okay, it wasn't easy, but we got that done. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I never made a thumbnail in the entire process of recording this. I'm gonna have to go back with the Nissan Silvia and, and run one of those races, probably El Capitan Reverse because that track was fun to drift around. What are you gonna pay me for this car game? What are you gonna pay me? By the way, we're up to 12,000 A-Spec points, good shit. 770 horsepower. That is more than a NASCAR stock car used to have. <laughs> and a NASCAR stock car would handle better than this damn thing. Okay, they're gonna give me 42,500 for it. That's a little less than what I would like, but it's definitely not worth that much in my opinion, so I I'm blessed. And we're back up to 521,000 credits. I mean, I think that's like a little bit less than what we started with. And we're about to make a bunch tomorrow. I'm gonna hop in the Acura DNX. And this is what we're gonna use for the New York 200 miles in the endurance races. It's about a two hour race, maybe a little bit more than that, adding on with the pit stops and stuff. And this car's got a little less horsepower than everything that might show up, but I can make up for it in driving ability because this car doesn't drive stupid like both the cars have been driving in this video. See you next time. That's that and episode over.